In today's class, we are going to see a chapter 12 cursor. So these are the contents in this chapter part one. Cursor, implicit cursor, explicit cursor, explicit cursor attributes, and implicit cursor attributes. So first we will see about what is SQL cursor. Before entering to cursor or SQL cursor, we will analyze a question called where does oracle process sql statements oracle sql statements are in the process pannunga or question ku deal pannuvom the answer is oracle server allocates a private memory area that is called as a context area for processing sql statements the sql statement is parsed and processed in this area information required for processing and information retrieved after processing is all stored in this area in a processing you processing the last thing to try everything is stored in this area. But user have no control over this area because it is internally managed by the Oracle server. User can control it area because it is being dealt with or managed by the Oracle server. area the context area. So in the cursors use control when a query inside a PL bar SQL block returns more than one record or one set of data, Oracle requires a placeholder to place the values. So cursor na in na more than one set of record and retrieve pan with bring a cursor use for one last class So and the madriyan or requirement is either it needs a placeholder to place the values. So the variable provided in the into clause. Can contain only one value at a time. And the select line into on a path on the bucket variable name on the last plus la path. So on the Maria Nathala, you can able to hold only one value at a time. So in order to process multiple records, cursors are used. Multiple records are process pananona, Angada, cursor one the use. So what is meant by na cursor na? A cursor is a pointer to the context area. So context area na ingada padam pato process pan right on. So on the process pan the context area ayra pillar ka kuriye one of the pointer ata na ma mande cursor na solro. But however this cursor is an implicit cursor and is automatically managed by the Oracle server. So the implicit cursor na is automatically managed by the Oracle server na. So when executable block issues a SQL statement. PL bar SQL creates an implicit cursor. So, this is not the particular process center area. Na, cursor up in the in the particular record. Of the current is a point for the row, as a query called as a current row, and the actual set now as a current row bar. Cursor point for the current row bar. <coughs> so, a cursor is a pointer to the private memory area allocated by the Oracle server. From previous Apatha Madri, it is a pointer to the private memory area allocated by the Oracle. Server. Every SQL statement executed by the Oracle server has an associated individual cursor. Over statement code, individual cursor when the associated arco. Uh, in <coughs> PL bar SQL, cursor is of two types. One you call as a static cursor, and the second one you call as the dynamic cursor. Static cursor na contents are known at compile time. Compile time material is a static cursor, and the cursor object always based on one SQL statement. Cursor object when the Based on one SQL statement, that's the cursor object. Real time or dynamic cursor parting and cursor variable can change its value. Variable can refer to different SQL statements at different times, namely, as well as dynamic in the variable market. So, in the static cursor, a compile time material in the content of which is static cursor, one the two types of which are coming. One you call it as the implicit, and the second one you call it as the explicit. Implicit. As a name set has been created and managed internally by the Oracle server to process a SQL statement. Explicit now it has been declared by the programmer. Nama kudukarava explicit cursor. So and the static cursor order and types are this. But then mari in the second type of cursor and a dynamic cursor order when they have implement panavana by using a cursor variable. So hope you understand two types of cursor is okay. One is static, one is dynamic. And the static is the other under type of one you call is implicit, and the second one is explicit. Dynamic is the other one, cursor variable. Next is implicit cursor. Or in the, oh, implicit cursor, na, in the 
static curves oda first type of implicit la nan paapom any given pl bar sql block issues an implicit curve my number and sql statement is executed x or sql statement execute eppa agudho ana pl bar sql block la appo vandu by default cursor vandu implicit cursor vandu execute aagum issue aagum abingiradha artham ஆனா நம்ம வந்து அந்த டைம் வரைக்கும் நம்ம எக்ஸ்பிளிசிட் கர்சர்னு வந்து நம்ம கொடுக்காம இருக்கணும் ஸோ கர்சர் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி அசோசியேட்டட் வித் எவ்ரி டிஎம்எஸ் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஒவ்வொரு டிஎம்எஸ் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் கூடயும் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா அது அசோசியேட் ஆயிருக்கு ஆல் அப்டேட் அண்ட் டெலிட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஹவ் கர்சர்ஸ் ஐடென்டிஃபைட் ஃப்ரோஸ் வில் பி அஃபெக்டட் பை த ஆப்ரேஷன் ஸோ இந்த இம்ப்ளசிட் கர்சர்ல என்னென்ன ப்ராசஸிங் என்னென்ன ப்ராசஸ் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படின்னா இம்ப்ளசிட் கர்சர் இஸ் யூஸ் ப்ராசஸ் அண்ட் சர்ச் அண்ட் during the processing of an implicit cursor oracle automatically performs the open fetch and close operation implicit cursor a process pandradana enna artham na oracle server vandha indha moonu statement operation ku execute pannu open panni fetch panni close pannu so pl bar sql creates an implicit cursor when an sql statement is executed from within the program block the implicit cursor is created only when explicit cursor is not attached to the sql statement explicit ta user edume sollala appadina mattu implicit cursor when we create out oracle opens an implicit cursor and the pointer is set the first row in the cursor the sql statement is fetched and executed by sql engine on the oracle server pl bar sql engine closes implicit cursor automatically and the cursor when the automatically close paniruvanga pl bar sql creates an implicit cursor for each dms statement and user have no control over the implicit cursor user ku endha control um kedaiyadhu enna ellame oracle server e manage panikiradunala by the next one and you can able to do some operations on that implicit cursor <coughs> the next is explicit cursor the only means of generating an explicit cursor for the cursor to be named in the declare section of the pl bar sql block pl bar sql block la declaration section la namu solli irukkaradha ore vali so any advantages from the explicit cursor nal compared to implicit cursor indirectly namu kannike theriyadha and implicit cursor nal enna advantage na it gives a more programmatic control to the program program oda kai la program oda control la da indha idu irukum so it is more efficient and in some way the errors vandichina data errors vandichina can be easily can be trapped so any operations and pakla next is sql cursor operations are na the oracle server uses the work area so they may private sql area to execute the sql statements and the store processing information so they implicitly enna pannumo adha da ingeyum pandrom but enna na நம்மளோட அந்த ஏரியாக்கு நம்ம ஒரு பேர் கொடுத்து பண்றோம் அதான் அதான் தட் இஸ் மீனிங் பிகாஸ் இட் நேம்ஸ் பிரைவேட் எஸ்கல் ஏரியா அண்ட் ஆக்சஸ் ஸ்டோர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அந்த மாதிரி இந்த மெயின்மான ஒரு பிரைவேட் எஸ்கல் ஏரியாவை தான் நம்ம என்ன சொல்றோம்னா எக்ஸ்பிரசட் கர்சன் சொல்லி யூசர் டிக்ளேர் எக்ஸ்பிரசட் கர்சஸ் அண்ட் பிஎல் பார் எஸ்கல் வென் தேர் இஸ் அண்ட் செலக்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் தட் ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் மல்டிபிள் ரோஸ் மல்டிபிள் ரோஸ் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த செலக்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ல நாம எக்ஸ்பிரசட் கர்சர் வந்து டிக்ளேர் பண்ணிக்கலாம் can process each row return by the select statement the set of rows returned by the multiple row query is called as the active set multiple data avaradile adukku per nam enna solrona active set nu solrom it is having but the number of rows adha enna 10 row iruka 10 100 row iruka 100 record iruka nu solrom so enna functions idu pannala it can do row by row processing beyond the first row return by a query it keep track of which rows currently being processed 10 record la 7th record of process aayitt irukku appadina adha pathi information adu vechirukku it enable the programmer to manually control explicit cursor in the pl bar sql block so ibidha na irukku the active set nu sonna the collection of records idha 100 la irunda 140 na idu full ah process pannudha na idu full la irukiradha active set oda value current row abingiradha point pannudha abingiradha so this is the diagram that shows the explicit cursor points to the current row in the active set So an explicit cursor is the key to managing multiple records, one record at a time in the SPL bar SPL bar. Multiple record la, one record amount in the time 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 in the time. So four things you have to do or you have to follow when dealing with this explicit cursor in the SPL bar SPL block. The first one is the cursor must be declared. First to declare pannanu. Variable declaration vary cursor to declare pannanu. After that the cursor needs to be open. Cursor open pannanu. and you have to fetch the results of the query to the variable declared in the pl bar sql have to fetch and then finally the cursor needs to be closed it is declared open fetch close in the operations vandha explicit cursor la neenga pannanum 
First I'm a declaration. You have to declare this cursor by giving a name in the declaration section. And you have to give this define the structure of the query that has been associated with it. A cursor has been declared as a select statement. Select statement other than the cursor of the declare for number you. The actual set of a cursor is determined by the select statement and the cursor declaration. And this is syntax. Declaration section in Sonia. So declare keyword. Cursor. Cursor name is, is a keyword. Select state. Cursor name in Garana. Ipanama. Use Panako explicit. The actual setting red at the Kanamuri. The private memory area. For name could call as a cursor name and solo. So name of the cursor follows some of the identifier naming rule. And select is any valid data retrieval statement. A cursor can all be used in programming statements or expressions as with other variables. A cursor is based on a select statement and it is linked to two, at least one table from the data. Uh, cursor is not the programming statement or not the variable that you can use. Panna is it kuda the select statement kuda na, it has been linked and from the one table from the database. It is mandatory to have an into class for select statement in PL bar SQL. And by the select statement in the cursor declaration cannot have an into class. So in the class, into class in the number use panna in the last class, we will talk about PL bar SQL. SQL is a topic that we select into. So, we will talk about the cursor. But, in the declaration, we will use the declaration. Because the declaration cannot have an into class. This is because defining a cursor in the declarative section only and not driving any rules in the cursor. We will use the declaration. So, we will use the declaration. And if processing goes in a specific sequence, you have to use order by class. So this is the example of the cursor declaration. Declare keyword cursor keyword. This is the cursor name. This keyword select staff from department processing. And then my ingayum employee cursor the cursor name. This keyword. Select Sunday in the column, employee table and the department ID 20. Mother bearing the condition of your alum of the club. Ademaso. So this is an explicit cursor and you declare it under the declaration section. La, cursor keyword is keyword. Cursor order name not order. So actions on explicit cursor. A PL bar SQL program opens a cursor, closes its rows, return by Kodi, and then closes the cursor. So the current cursor marks the current position in the actor set. The actor set is the current position of the soldier and the cursor order work. The first one is you have to open a cursor, then you have to fetch data from the cursor, and you have to close the cursor. Opening a cursor, you have to execute the query associated with the cursor, identify the active set, position the cursor in the first row in the active set. The open statement is used to open a cursor. So open a cursor in the moon value. In the cursor of work. So open is a keyword, cursor name. Open employee underscore cursor semicolon. So, user must open a cursor that has not yet been opened and the program block or closed. If trying to open a cursor that is already open, error message will display cursor already open. Open a hard time, open for a type of video, open another number of the home dinner, cursor already open a big error message for the number of the loop. Prefix is the PL bar scale of dinner, PL is the big prefix use for. So, the first part opening is a Ade Mari. Open statement is included in the executable section of the PL bar SQL block. PL bar SQL load executable section and an open statement over because it is an executable statement by performing the following operation. First one is dynamically it allocates memory, memory allocate another, it passes the select statement, binds the input variable. <coughs> in the is the value of bind money could occur and it identifies the active set. There are set of rows that satisfy the search criteria. Rows and actors that are not retrieved into variables and open statement is executed. Rather, the fetch statement retrieves the rows from the cursor to the variables. In the Mari, it is an active set of being sold rather in the Rathalada. As open funny, it is a being fetched from the Rathalada in the Rathalada. So, other than the fourth step, the Nadapada and position the pointer to the first row in the active set. So, these are the actions that can operation that is being carried out by the open executable statement. So then a second one is fetching data from the cursor. The select statement creates an active set based on tables in the front clause. 
இல்லையா ஸோ எந்த டேபிளுங்கிறது சம் கிளாஸ் வச்சு சொல்லுது காலம் செலக்ட் கிளாஸ் வச்சு சொல்லுது ரூஸ் வேர் கிளாஸ் வந்து சொல்லுது ஸோ கர்சர்ஸ் வர்ச்சுவல் டேபிள் அண்ட் யூஸ் கேன் ட்ரைவ் ரோ தட் கர்சர் இஸ் பாயிண்டிங் வேல்யூஸ் ஃப்ரம் த ரோஸ் ஒரு டிரைவிங் டு வேரியபிள்ஸ் பிஎல் பர் எஸ்கல் ரெக்கார்ட் டு பெர்ஃபார்ம் ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப்டர் ரீடிங் வேல்யூஸ் ஃப்ரம் ரோ இன் டு வேரியபிள்ஸ் த கர்சர் பாயிண்ட் மூவ் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் ரோ இன் த ஆக்சஸ் செட் அந்த பர்டிகுலர் ரோல இருக்கக்கூடிய டேட்டாவை வேரியபிள்ஸ்க்கு மூவ் பண்ணிடுச்சு ரீட் பண்ணி முடிச்சிருச்சுன்னா இந்த கர்சர் பாயிண்ட் அந்த செட்ல இருக்க அடுத்த ரெக்கார்டுக்கு நகர்ந்து போயும் அந்த பாயிண்ட் அப்படியே மூவ் பண்ணி அடுத்த ரெக்கார்டுக்கு போகும் ஸோ த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் கெட்டிங் த டேட்டா ஃப்ரம் த கர்சர் இஸ் ரெஃபர் டு அஸ் ஃபெச்சிங் த கர்சர் டேட்டாவை கர்சருக்குள்ள கொண்டு போய் போடுறதுக்கு பேர் தான் ஃபெச்சிங் த கர்சர் நம்ம சொல்லணும் ஸோ டேபிள்ல இருந்து அந்த பர்டிகுலர் ரெக்கார்டோட ஒரு டேட்டாவை வாங்கி கர்சர் வேரியபிள்குள்ள போடுறதுக்கு பேர் தான் கால் இட் அஸ் ஃபெச்சிங் த கர்சர் ஸோ அது எந்த டேபிள் எந்த காலம் எந்த ரெக்கார்டுங்கிறத இந்த ஃப்ரம் செலக்ட் வேர்ல இருந்து டிசைட் பண்ணி The first statement describes the current row and advances the cursor to the next row until either there are no more rows or until a specified condition is met. And the particular row matter is added to the row, if we don't have any condition, we can execute the condition of the first statement. So, there is syntax. Fetch keyword, cursor name, into keyword, variable list or record name. Variable list, it may be a local variable, a table or a bind variable. And record name, it may be a name of a record structure. Variable list, it may be a local variable, a table or a bind variable. And record name, it may be a name of a record structure. So, this is the example. Fetch keyword, into keyword, இது வந்து cursor name, இது வந்து variable name. Syntax அப்படிதான் இருக்கலையா? Cursor name, variable. So, cursor வந்து employee cursor, variable வந்து employee number of salary. So, two columns, uh, employee ID and salary will be derived into this variable, employee number and variable salary. The number of items matches the number of variables in the select statement. The order of items and the variables are the match icon. Uh, variables should be declared with a type declaration variable to ensure the correct data type if no match you will get an error message like match will la abina in the error message ungalku kedaikum another example uh, it uses a record record use pannadhu abina inga vandha variables use pannom adhe mari inda la record use pannadhu na in the row type declaration attribute ah ungalku declare ah irukanum a composite data type can be used for the record instead of the cursor name that is percentage row type declaration la use paniyirukom and the next is percentage type and percentage row type attributes percentage type is for record as percentage type is for field uh, already in the percentage type pathi we have shown in the first topic la columns are the percentage type the record or rows are the percentage row type so it provides the record type it represents row in the database table record can store an entire row of data structured from the table or fetched from a cursor or cursor variable So variables declared using the percentage row type are treated like those declared using a data type name. Can use the percentage row type attribute in variable declarations as a data type specifier. The last is the closing the cursor. The close statement means we have to disable the cursor, release the context area and undefined back to set. All of them are closed. The cursor is disabled. The memory area is released. The back to set is undefined. So close the cursor after completing the process of such a statement. Fetch a statement or a value of the cursor close panic la. And if you need, you can reopen the cursor. And the cursor can be reopened when it is closed. Close panic is not hard to do. You can able to reopen it. So cursor close the cursor is not hard to do. So this is the syntax. Close cursor name. Example, close employee cursor. So outline. Declaration section la. create a named sql area open la identify active set pandrenga fetch la you are loading the current rows in the table and empty are in the china you test for existing rows return to fetch as rows found abdi illa abdina release active set then close this is our process cursor order declare pandrenga open pandrenga fetch pandrenga data value mudichu close pandrenga hope you understand till this Then, simply the cursor, explicit cursor. Attributes, we will discuss in the next class.